JRA 501, back in this book called Chernobyl. This is chapter 15, the consequences of the Chernobyl catastrophe for public health and the environment 23 years later. Written by Alexei Yablokov, Vasily Nesterenko, and Alexei Nesterenko. The reason why I'm back in here is because I think it's extremely important to know what we need to look forward to um, and use this as a guide as to what to expect from what's happening with Fukushima. We have to remember Chernobyl was a an event. Fukushima is an ongoing event. More than 50% of Chernobyl's radionuclides were dispersed outside of Belarus, Ukraine, and European Russia, and caused fallout as far away as North America. In 1986, nearly 400 million people lived in areas radioactively contaminated, and nearly 5 million individuals are still being exposed to dangerous contamination. The increase in morbidity Premature aging and mutations is seen in all the contaminated territories that have been studied. The increase in the rates of total mortality for the first 17 years in European Russia was up to 3.75% and in the Ukraine it was up by 4%. Levels of internal irradiation are increasing owing to plants absorbing and recycling cesium-137 strontium-90, plutonium, and americum. During recent years, where internal levels of cesium-137 have exceeded one millisievert per year, which is considered safe, it must be lowered to 50 becquerels per kilogram in children and to 75 becquerels per kilogram in adults. Useful practices to accomplish this include applying mineral fertilizers on agricultural lands. K and organosoluble lignin on forest lands, and regular individual consumption of natural pectin enterosorbents. Extensive international help is needed to provide radiation protection for children, especially in Belarus, where over the next 25 to 30 years, radionuclides will continue to contaminate plants through the root layers in the soil irradiated populations of plants and animals exhibit a variety of morphological deformities and have significantly higher levels of mutations than were rare prior to 1986. Chernobyl zone is a black hole. Some species may persist there only via immigration from uncontaminated areas. Okay. As a result of the catastrophe, 40% of Europe was contaminated with dangerous radioactivity. Asia and North America were also exposed to significant amounts of radioactive fallout. Contaminated countries include Austria, Finland, Sweden, Norway, Switzerland, Romania, Great Britain, Germany, Italy, France, Greece, Iceland, Slovenia, as well as wide territories in Asia, including Turkey, Georgia, Armenia, the Emirates, China, and Northern Africa. Nearly 400 million people lived in areas with high radioactive levels. Belarus was especially heavily contaminated. 23 years after the catastrophe, nearly 5 million, including some 1 million children, live in vast areas of Belarus, Ukraine, and European Russia where dangerous levels of radioactive contamination persist. Among the reasons complicating a full-scale estimation of the impact of the Chernobyl catastrophe on health are the following. <clears throat> Secrecy and unrectifiable falsification of Soviet Union medical statistics. Lack of detailed and clearly reliable medical statistics. Difficulties in estimating true individual radioactive doses. Inadequacy of modern knowledge as to 
the specific effect of each of the many radionuclides, impact of ultra-low doses and dose rates. Significant increase in general morbidity is apparent in all the territories contaminated by Chernobyl. Among specific health disorders associated with Chernobyl radiation, there are increased morbidity and prevalence of the following groups of diseases. <clears throat> Circulatory system, endocrine system, thyroid pathology, the immune system, now something called Chernobyl AIDS, which the name has now been coined in Fukushima as Fukushima AIDS. Respiratory system, urogenital tract and reproductive disorders, musculoskeletal system, osteoporosis, central nervous, nervous system, uh, issues, changes in the frontal and temporal and occipital lobes of the brain, which is where you get uh, dementia. Eyes, cataracts, conjunctive disorders, digestive tracts, congenital malformations and anomalies, thyroid cancer, leukemia, blood cancers, changes in the body's biological balance, intestinal problems, bacterial infections, sepsis, which is a blood poisoning, intensified infections of parasitic diseases, viral hepatitis, respiratory viruses, hmm. premature aging in children and in adults, somatic and genetic mutations, chronic diseases, acute inhalation lesions of the upper respiratory tract, rhinitis, throat tickling, dry cough, difficulty breathing, shortness of breath because people inhaled radionuclides or hot particles, which is called dust. Chronic, fa chronic fatigue syndrome, early aging syndrome, speci specific Chernobyl syndromes such as radiation in utero, Chernobyl AIDS, Chernobyl heart, Chernobyl limbs, and others await more detailed definitive medical descriptions. The full picture of deteriorating health in the contaminated territories is still far from complete despite a large quantity of data. Medical, biological, and radiological research must expand and be supported to provide the full picture of Chernobyl's consequences. Instead, this research has been cut back in Russia, Ukraine, and Belarus. Hmm. Okay. Uh, displacement of the long half-life Chernobyl radionuclides by water, winds, migrating animal causes, and will continue to cause secondary radioactive contamination hundreds and thousands of kilometers away from the Ukrainian Chernobyl nuclear power station. All the initial forecasts of rapid clearance of, or of decay of the Chernobyl radionuclides from ecosystems were wrong. It is taking much longer than predicted because they recirculate. The overall state of the contamination in water, air, and soil appears to fluctuate greatly in the dynamics of strontium-90, cesium-137, plutonium, and americum contamination still presents surprises. <coughs> Sorry. As a result of the accumulation of cesium-137, strontium-90, plutonium, and americum in the root soil layer, radionuclides have conti continued to build in plants over recent years. Moving with water to the above ground parts of the plants, the radionuclides, which earlier had disappeared from the surface, concentrate in the edible components, resulting in increased levels of internal radiation, dose rate in people, 
despite decreasing total amounts of radionuclides from natural disintegration over time. Okay. It is impossible to forget Chernobyl. The growing data about of the negative consequences of the Chernobyl catastrophe for public health and nature does not bode well for optimism. Without special large-scale national and international programs, morbidity and mortality in the contaminated territories will increase. Morally, it is inexplicable that the experts associated with the nuclear industry claim it's time to forget Chernobyl. I got a tickle. Sound and effective inter international national policy for mitigation and minimization of Chernobyl's consequences must be based on the principle it is necessary to learn and minimize the consequences of this terrible catastrophe. U.S. President John F. Kennedy speaking about the necessity to stop atmospheric nuclear tests said in June 1963 the number of children and grandchildren with cancer in their bones, with leukemia in their blood, or with poison in their lungs might seem statistically small to some in comparison with natural health hazards, but this is not a natural health hazard, and it is not a statistical issue. The loss of even one human life or the malformation of even one baby who may be born long after we are gone should be of concern to all of us. Our children and our grandchildren are not merely statistics toward which we can be indifferent. As always, as always, God bless. Please, don't forget. They want us to forget. We can't forget. We need to help the people of Japan because sooner or later there will be another event somewhere.